Okay, Don Sturgill here. Do a brief uh, tutorial on how to implement uh, Kanban flow uh, with the PAL and the map for projects. So let's just do it. Uh, you're going to cruise to kanbanflow.com. Uh, you'll find a login there. And if you don't yet have a Kanban account, and by the way, this is free. Uh, there is a pro version, but the free does plenty. Uh, you're just going to skip down to uh, sign up for free. Um, I already have an account under a different email address. So I'm going to do this. And by the way, I use a application or an add-on to the browser called LastPass. Uh, that's really helpful. It's here in the red uh, up here. Uh, you can use it on Chrome or Firefox or Microsoft Explorer or the new uh, Microsoft uh, browser. But anyway, it's pretty handy for de developing and storing good passwords. So again, I'm just creating an account. Um, and I'm going to need to verify from my email. So let me go do that. OK, so I've um, I switched over to Chrome and to Gmail to get that code. And here's just something I, I want to throw in. I have several email addresses, but I have them all feeding into one mail reader. So and that's M-A-I-L reader, one mail reader. So my uh, I use Gmail as my mail reader or as my mail client. Uh, you can use Outlook, you can e email reader you want, but it's really handy to have all of the mail from your various addresses. If you have several, go to one inbox. So I had to switch over to Gmail to get this code, uh, but I'm actually using uh, Firefox now to log in. Sometimes what happens if you have, and by the way, if you want to learn more about how to bring all your email into one inbox, let me know. I'd be happy to go over that with you and for you. But what can happen? So Gmail pulls in the Don at DonSturgill.com mail. But it doesn't do it instantly. If you send an uh, email to roadturn at gmail.com, it comes right in. But if you send it Don at DonSturgill.com, it's going to take, there's going to be a delay because Gmail pulls that from elsewhere. What you have to do in that case, if you want to check mail right away, is go to the settings feature. And let me see if I can pull that back up. So there's settings under this uh, button here. And I would go to settings and then to um, uh, accounts and import. OK, so so there's there's a way to pull things down immediately if you want. I won't get into it now. But I just wanted to bring that up because this is something tricky that can happen. And if you want to know more about how to combine your emails and or how to uh, uh, get your mail quicker, let me know. Uh, we'll do a tutorial on that. So I'm going to verify Kanban flow. I know this seems kind of clunky to set up. It's really not. Here I am. I now have an account under Kanban flow. Now, basically, these are columns. And I can drag these uh, cards across. So notice that this goes from to do, do today, in progress, done. OK, so I can move things across. And this is the Kanban principle, is that you track things as they move from one stage to another. Okay, but for me, and for our purposes, I want to set this up as, and I'm going to have to go here to menu and pull down to board layout. And I want to set this up as, um, and I just clicked on that to get that to pop up, the PAL, which is, of course, the potential activities list. This is where, and I just update the column down here. This stuff you can uh, come back to later. It's more advanced. Don't worry about it to set it up. You really don't need to. So PAL, Potential Activities List. And then I'm going to click uh, Edit. Uh, due to Days, going to be uh, 
map, my activities or my action plan, my daily action plan. And this uh, is more, we talk about this really when we talk about the deep, but, uh, and I can just uh, get rid of this one. I'm going to use the three columns right now to get started. Uh, and once I've finished, this is done. So I have these three columns. And this is where I'm going to put in the PAL potential activities list. This is going to walk you through when you first start it out. It's going to walk through how you use uh, these cards. So let's just forget these uh, for now because you might want to keep those around to remember. Uh, this gives you instructions. These come when you create your account. I'm just going to kick, uh, click on the plus, add a card, and a card is going to be, um, uh, don't forget the uh, uh, live training on Friday. No, it's on Sunday. And then save and close. But hold it before you do that. Notice that there are colors I can choose. And this again is more advanced, but you can separate these by colors. You can name these colors different things. I just want you to see that. Later that'll be important. Right now it's not so much. So notice the live training Sunday came down here. I can set that setting so that new cards uh, go to the top. And I believe that's under settings. Uh, maybe under advanced. Uh, I can set my default task color. I can, oh yes, here's where it is. It's under task settings, top of column. So now all new cards are going to come to the top. That's where I like it set. But what I really wanted to do here, so this is a cool thing you can use. So I have my list. Let's say I'm pulling over the things from my action plan. And again, this is more in the deep, but here in the PAL is the list of things you want to do sometime. These are the things that are on your mind. They're bugging you. Yeah, I need to do this. I need to do that. The 10,000 things. List them in the PAL. Get them out of your head. Potential activities list. But every day, we're going to move over those maybe three to five things that we want to focus on today. And, you know, let's say that's another one and that's another one. So these are the things that are going to catch my focus. I'm going to what I wanted to show you now is this cool little feature under the clock. And it's a technique or a principle uh, popularized as Pomodoro. But really, I call it chunking. And I've done this for years, and it's very effective. Uh, what I'm going to do is set a time uh, and see the Pomodoro down here. It's automatically set to 25 minutes. So when I start this, and it'll make you crazy because there's a actually ticker like a clock that starts out. You won't hear it if I do it because the system sounds are turned off. But it's going to sound like a real clock ticking, but it only does that for like five seconds, then it goes away. So I'm going to do 25 minutes of focus, let's say, on this first task. Maybe this task is um, work on a certain article, let's say. And that's what I'm going to work on for today, or for the next 25 minutes at least. So when I start this timer and start it, it's going to ask me to select the task. Now the timer's not going to start until I select the task. So I select this. I'll hear this clicking that goes on. And then notice the clock is ticking down here. And when that gets down to 25 minutes run out, then it, it, it gives me a five minute break. I do five minute break, then come back. I usually try and do at least three of these sessions in a row. So three 25 minute sessions plus a five minute break gives you uh, 90 minutes, basically an hour and a half, which is a good chunk of time to work on a certain project. Now, if I can finish uh, more than one project, fine. I can, I can work on anything I want. But the important thing is I choose what I'm going to focus on for this section of time and I go to work on it. That's, that's the, the way we get places. We choose where we want to go. We walk in that direction. It really is that simple. Okay? See you soon. Try Kanban. Try doing uh, uh, the Pomodoro uh, sessions. There's other 
um, apps you can get for Pomodoros or to you can use a regular timer. I use this pal is going to fill up quickly. Don't worry about it. That's why it's called your pal. It's there to take the load for you. Get it out of your mind onto the pal potential activities list. You don't have to worry about it. The map, my action plan, that's where it all happens. Okay, see you soon.